Hello there, my fellow stars. It's Ventrix here with another Minecraft video, and today we're back with another mod showcase. And today we're looking at a very interesting mod that caught my view. I'm sorry about the pause there. Just wanted to get some stuff up so that I can read the info. As you guys can see by the title, we are doing the the Amber Root Zoo mod. And this has various monsters to for like adventure and stuff. So this adds a lot of new monsters. I saw this mod and it's like. I think I've seen this in someone else's like mod thing, cause I watch like a lot, of, like a lot of other YouTubers. And I think I've seen this mod before. I'm not sure from who, but I've seen this and I wanted to look at it because it kind of looked like a cute mod, and it looked like it had a lot, a lot of interesting stuff. So yeah, the description for this mod is pretty long, so it's a lot of info to read. So it says Ember Zoo Mod 1.12.2 1.12. 1.12 is a, a fork of root mod is a fork of roots mod with everything removed except for the fairy deer and spr sprout entities also the ancient golem is imported from the embers from the ember mod ah so I, i'm guessing this used to be many different mods but it came to being this one and they brought some from others so this mod includes it Included is code and textures from currently abandoned Ender Zoo mod. Ah, oh, that's why the Enderman looks so familiar. These are some of the changes. Changes to spawning rules, AI, tweaks, change a lot, loot tables, added more color variants to... Ah, oh, so this is like a lot of mods. I think I've heard of, um, I think I've played with the Ender Zoo mod before. And then with a slight difference for the fairies can be tamed and untamed with glowstone gems rate the speed fire la lasers uses different calculations with golems will attack the player still but certain colors attack certain mobs so this actually has a lot of stuff in it that I might need to look at because I never expected all this information right here this is like a huge like description due to any mod so we're gonna jump into the first room which I saw as normal mobs that you would see in anything like you know this is just normal monsters normal friendly animal types I think they're all friendly hope they're all friendly I tested some of them in survival at least this guy right here the timber wolf so I'm gonna spawn the deer first because I want to look at them apparently they spawn in different colors as you guys can see we got a bunch of cute different colored deer they only run away from you, so that tells me that they're not afraid of you, so. Seems very cute. And then we got the owls. Oh my god, so cute. Do they come in? Oh my god, so cute. They come in many different colors, just like the deer do. And then we got the the wolves, the, the timber wolves. I'm not sure if you could tame these guys. All I know is when you kill them, they drop bones. I don't know if they'll become hostile if you kill them. But I know is they drop bones. Apparently you can't tame them, sadly, but... They are a part of the world that you'll see. I'm not sure what they um, really do in this mod, but I know there's a lot of cute mobs in this, and I really like that the owls and the deer both have different textures. It's just that the timber wolves all look the same. Not really sh sure what the timber wolf does, to be fully honest with you guys. I just know that he's a part of this mod. And I really love him because he's, he's, like he's more of a thick wolf than the other wolf. Like, he's so fluffy looking. He looks really fluffy. I just want to hug him. I don't know why. I kind of wish you could tame him. I don't know if you can tame him though. It looks like the owls just randomly drop. Sorry about the silence. I should probably like, be yawning a lot in this video. Yeah, like I said, I think I might be yawning a lot. So sorry about the sun silence. It's like really late and I'm not used to staying up late uh, today because I went to like bed early. Uh, last night. I'm sorry about no videos yesterday. I didn't really know what to bring out because I kind of felt like the whole like build part for me was dead on the inside. So yeah, sorry for no videos yesterday, but I'm making sure that we have two videos for today, which is this video, of course. Hopefully everything's recording. Hopefully the video recorder is actually recording this time. Because if you guys didn't know, the last time I recorded a mod showcase, I did the whole commentary. And after doing the survival video, I figured out it did not record the whole thing, so hopefully it's recording this time and I'm not fully talking to myself. So then in this room, we got the fairy, 
We got the sprites. This is a bunch of like different type of sprites. I don't know if the sprites are very hostile. All I know is in normal mode, they will not spawn. I don't think any of this, these guys spawn peaceful. Probably like the animals do. But the fairy is this guy. He actually comes in different colors. Like, look at this. It's so cute. I'm not sure if they bring any harm to you. I don't think they harm you at all. I think they're like just little fairies that roam around. I think they're really friendly. I don't think they do really anything. And if you kill them, they'll drop glowstone. You could apparently tame them with glowstone. So let's, let's give Cakeful a Minecraft glowstone dust. Dust. And if you take one of these, you could actually tame one. Look at this. He'll follow you around wherever you go, and you'll have. And you know what's funny? I tamed the perfect one because I do like the color blue. If you guys don't know, my favorite color is blue. And I tamed the blue one without even realizing it. I guess on instinct I tamed the blue one because I really like the color blue. So the next one we have is the sprite. Because I think, yeah, we already did the fairy. This is the sprite. I don't know what he does. I don't know if you could tame him or anything. But he doesn't harm you. At least not that I see. He's not harming me at all. He seems pretty peaceful. He just seems like he likes to fly around. And then we got the Sprite Ling, which is right here. He's just a smaller version, but in green. I don't know if he spawns in different colors. No, he does just spawn in green. And then we got the, um, the Greater Sprite, which is this guy. Really cool looking. And they all make really cool noises. I really like the sprites. They all make cool noises. You can, like... I don't know what to say about this mod. I really love it. I'm thinking that if I ever make like another mod mashup, I'm definitely putting this in it because I really love it. It's so cute. And I love that you can tame a little fairy guy. They'll like be by your side throughout the whole thing. It's so cute. So then we got these guys. These guys are so cute. Look at them. They're little, they're little sprouts. They're like rainbow sprouts. They're like the most adorable creatures ever. They like come in like rainbow colors, as you guys can see here. They all come in like rainbow stuff, and they're just the cutest. I know they're like making a lot of noises, and there's just gonna be a lot of noise in this, I guess, because they make all their type of noises, like these guys, at least these um, sprites. I don't know what they do. I don't know if you can tame them or anything, but definitely if I ever do another mod mashup. I'm I'm gonna like see if I could tame some of those. I'm definitely gonna tame a fairy, of course, because I really love the fairy. The fairy's adorable. So then what we have is the hostile mobs. So if you're wondering why there's diamond gear in here, it's mostly due to um the last guy, which is the, the sprite guardian, because he is very hostile. And he won't be nice. He's actually the only I think the only boss mob in this, so yeah. Gotta be careful with him. Do, do play safe with this guy. Because he isn't as friendly as the other guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put this deer egg right up here. I'm going to put on this gear. Make sure I'm all safe. I don't know if this guy... F like, like... He just flies around me. I don't know what he does. I don't know if he fights with me. He's like avoiding me. Like I'm trying to turn around to him. He's just avoiding me like fully. So we got the rainbow slime... Which means, yes, there is slime that are rainbow colored. Look at this! I love it because they're rainbow colored. And I'm glad when I'm fighting, I don't hit my spirit. That actually makes me happy. Because if I accidentally killed the spirit, I would have cried. Do they drop random potions too? Oof. Gotta be careful for them. Sorry! Don't mean to hit ya, Raven, but you're kind of like over here. Oh my god, look what they do! Oh my god, they're gonna make a mess. They're gonna make a mess of my- <laughs> No! I should have brought some sponges. I didn't know they would do that. So yeah, be careful with these guys. They kind of ruin your area. So slash give evil Minecraft sponge, please. Not special sponge. Alright, here we go. hi -ya! Uh oh, I need another one. Um, I'm gonna get four for that, man. Dude, how much water is there? There's so much of it. 
I did not expect these slimes to actually do random things. Like, honestly, those guys are really random. So, yeah, make sure you don't have those guys spawning anywhere in an important place. Or they'll pretty much flood it. So, yeah, that's something about the rainbow slimes. Be careful for the blue ones, because they drop water. I think the pink ones dropped regen potions. I think that's why they're making those noises. I think if I was, if I was close enough, I would have been getting regen, which is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff up here, because these aren't needed anymore. And now we got this this fallen hero guy, which is this guy. And I didn't, I didn't really know if he was, if he was violent towards people, but he doesn't seem like he is mean. I, I'm just going to keep him around, because he doesn't seem so hostile, and he doesn't seem like he's going to attack me, so I'm definitely not going to attack him. But I'm pretty sure if I do attack him, he will definitely attack me. But he probably does attack monsters, so he could probably be your companion in most flights like this creep right here. Just gotta be careful with this guy, because this guy is actually called the Cursed Creeper. I don't know what he does. Oh, that is an interesting creeper. So what he does, I made Raven immune to potions, of course, because she really needed that for this episode, because I don't want her dying again. Raven, I'm very sorry for the last one. But this time I secured you, and I gave you something to make you potion resistant, so you're going to be safe this one. So we got those. The fun hero seems friendly, so I'm not going to bother with him. Then we got the block slimes. That is cool. So what they do is they disguise as blocks. That is pretty cool. I like that. This guy's like lava in the middle of him. So yeah, they do do a bit of damage. I'm going to say that. So make sure you get as much hits as possible on this guy. Especially the giant guy because he's doing a lot of damage. Sorry, Raven didn't mean to interact with you. So they do drop their block too. So that's pretty helpful actually. So if you need like a certain block... These guys will drop it for you. Pretty sweet. So he doesn't seem like he attacks anything. It seems like he's a very chill mob. So I'm going to leave this Steve guy alone. And we're going to just keep going. Oh, and I got the hiccups now. I don't know why. With, what's with the hiccups whenever I'm recording? I always get the hiccups. It's like the weirdest thing. It's like my body knows when to hiccup. Because when I'm sitting off camera camera like let's just say I'm not recording I don't get the hiccups as much but then when I'm actually recording hiccups just attack out of nowhere it's, it's just not cool man so this guy I wasn't sure about but hey he was making growling noise yeah 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 I knew it I was like he's making growling noises when I spawned him so I was pretty sure he's hostile or even get in the back of me so I don't hit you please because I do not want to kill you and that's the dire wolf right here you guys are wondering, the dire wolf is a very hostile wolf. He just looks like this. He has like a blue face, so if you run into land, be careful for him because he can be pretty dangerous. He'll bite you. He looks like he only does 1 HP in iron gear, but he probably does plenty more damage when you have nothing on. So, yeah, sorry, Steve. Didn't mean to almost swing at you, buddy. So then we got this demon cat. And you're probably like, what is a demon cat? So, you see, it looks normal. This cat looks normal, am I right? Well, I don't know how you trigger it, but if you hit this cat, it's not friendly. Or, I don't know. So that's good. I don't know. But he looks friendly, right? Well, if you do this, he becomes this guy. And oh my god, he did a lot of damage. Oh! So yeah. Do you see a cat like that in the wilderness? Do not swing at it, because that cat is not friendly at all. And I'm, I'm always wondering why I'm being pushed. It's because my little fairy guy, because they're like 1.12 added the pushing thing. You know, when you just bump into someone, you push them. My fairy keeps bumping into me and pushing me around. It doesn't really bug me at all, because I still love this fairy so much. I think he's so cute. Like, look at him. He's so super adorable. I wish he could be with me all the time. So, next thing's next. We are going to get this toxic witch. Oh my god, I'm scared. I don't know what the- Oh god! You come with the cat! No, 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 no. Hope we do not spawn another one. Your, your potions aren't doing any damage to me. You see that? They threw a potion at me, but it didn't do anything to me at all. 
Oh, because it's a lingering potion of slow. Ah! So careful for her, too. That witch, she spawns with that demon cat, so. Now I know where that demon cat comes from. She, the, demon's, the demon cat's gonna be with that witch right there, so. Yeah, be careful. So the next one we got is the mini Enderman, which I believe I've seen from Ender Zoo. That's why I said I know the Ender Zoo mod, because I messed with it. And look at this guy. He's a mini Enderman. He doesn't seem like he's hostile either, so I'm gonna leave him be. Yeah, you seem friendly, so I'm gonna leave you alone too. I didn't know if he was hostile or not, because Endermen are normally hostile creatures, you know? And I was like, this guy may be hostile, he may attack me, I don't wanna make it so he's in the friendly chest, because I don't know if he's friendly. So I definitely decide, let's just put him with the hostiles, and then do it, because... It's better to figure out in the video when you're actually doing it or putting him in the thing and having him be hostile. So then we got this guy right here. The Fallen Knight, which is actually a... a oh! He does fight! Oh, he's so weak though! Oh, poor guy. I feel bad. And then we got his Fallen Mount. Oh? No, he's not friendly. He'll charge at you just like this. So he doesn't let you, so if you ever run into this guy, you cannot ride him. He's very hostile. He'll chase after you. I'm pretty sure if there was a knight on him, he will be doing damage. But because he's alone, he's not really doing anything. All he does is chase you and just make his noises and try to ram into you. So yeah, he's not a friendly dude. Be careful with him because I'm pretty sure he's supposed to have someone on him because he is a mount. So I'm pretty sure he's supposed to have a monster on him. So definitely if you're not careful and you run into that dude, he's going to be charging at you with that mob on his back. So these are the next mobs we're looking at. These are like the last two of the normal mobs and then we're getting into the boss which is going to be much more harder than these guys. So we got this, this golem. I believe they come in different colors and some are hostile I believe. They actually shoot in different ways, see? So they do become very hostile towards you. They aren't very friendly creatures. No, did I kill my fairy? Oh no! My fairy! No! Oh well. He always come back in our series, I promise. Too bad there isn't a way to like revive that guy, but... <sighs> Darn it, man. I'm so lucky I haven't named him yet, because if I would have named him, that, that attachment would have just died inside me. I realize I haven't used any of these, so that guy did a lot of damage than the other mobs have done, so I'm going to make sure that this skeleton right here is not as much damage. Oh, how much damage do you do? Oh, yeah, you do quite the damage, even in iron. You need to get out of here. Oh, look at that. He drops a skull, so if you're into this guy, he, he looks kind of like a ghost. He can spawn with like an iron sword, a shield, and a stone sword. I'm thinking that his sword's probably different depending on how he spawns. But, yeah, that's how he spawns. And look at this. He dropped ice. Interesting. But that is because he has a frozen skeleton. They make zombie noises, apparently. And whenever they move towards you, apparently they make the actual skeleton noise. Which is very interesting. So now, we're getting into the diamond gear and my one, like, enchanted golden apple. Because this guy, he's a boss. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to kill him or not. Because boss can be quite difficult. And I'm not sure about this dude, because I've not fought, fought him yet. I just spawned him in to see if he was hostile, and I was correct, so I was like, you know what? That's not good. I need to get rid of this dude. So I just peacefuled it, and he just spawned, so. Yeah, we're going to try this guy. We're going to see what happens. I don't know if I'm going to live. I probably will die. I'm not sure how to fight this dude either. Oh, he could pass through things. Oh, flip, man. Looks like we're taking outside. Oh wow, Diamond Gear does good against him. Oh, he does massive damage, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Oh god. That's a scary thing. Alright, see ya Raven, have a good break. Raven does not want to see me embarrass myself right now, apparently. She's like, yeah, you know what? While you do that, I'm out here. I'm gonna go on break. Yeah, you go ahead and do that, Raven. I'm going to be over here fighting this boss while you do your thing. Go be safe from this guy, because he doesn't seem like he's hittable either. 
And if he is, he's not easy to hit either because I don't know where he comes from. Oh my gosh, this guy really drills underground to go after you. And I don't know how to hit him either. I don't know if there is a way to actually defeat this guy. Honestly, I saw him in like a picture. He looked like a cool boss. I was thinking, you know what, maybe I'll be fighting in this one. But oh my god, I hit him once. For once in my life, I've hit him. Because he could go through the ground. So it's like, how do I hit this dude? This might be a long battle, so I might not be able to finish this. So, oh god, oh god, that did a lot of damage. Dude, you are strong. Ooh, you have to hit him right in the front or else you're going to do no damage. You have to hit him precisely right here just to get the hit. So I'm trying to get some crits in as he goes after me. Oh, that one did not work at all. So I need to eat food and I need to eat a golden apple. Because he is not easy. I knew I should have enchanted it. Pr I probably should have enchanted this gear, but I decided not to enchant it just to be a little bit more fair in the macho case. Because you know who needs a in a macho case. I was like, you know, let's just do a plain gear. Try to defeat him. And yeah, this is how it's going so far. It's not going pretty well. So he can literally face through blocks. He's kind of like one of those bosses. They'll literally face to the ground and then come back out after you in another direction. I actually like that aspect of a boss because there's no boss actually like that in MC. But I've seen aspects like this in other games, which I actually do love bosses like this because it's just the element of surprise of where he's going to come from. And you have to think about how to hit them. And yeah, this is very hard actually. This is a lot harder than I expected. Oh no, I miss. I missed my chance, dude. I need to get crits. Oh no, he does a lot of KB too. So he does a lot of KB. He does a lot of damage if he actually gets his chances and he dives underground to dodge you. Comes out afterwards and does that. He's, he's not a very nice boss. So if you guys actually, like if I actually died in this, um, if you guys actually defeat this boss, you, you guys are good. Like. This guy is giving me the most hardest time of my life. I've never struggled against a boss like this before. So this is actually a challenge. And I love it. The challenge of this boss is amazing. I just hope he's not regaining health as he's doing this. Because if he's regaining health, there's no way impossible. I'm, I'm killing him unless there's a way to stop him from going underneath the ground. Which I don't think there is one. I think I have to wait for him to charge at me. Yeah, I'm just waiting for him to charge. Oh, dang it, I missed my chance. No! Come back. You slick snake. He literally is like a snake, like honestly. Sheesh, I just dodged ya. Ooh, ooh. So, he's got a lot more HP left. There's no way I'm killing this boss in this mod showcase. It's a, this is hard. Like, I never expected it to be this hard. Holy cow, this is actually cool. This is an awesome boss. I love the model. I kind of like the part that's actually um, solid on him, other than transparent, is the actual thing around like the neck area, which is really cool. I love that. This design is really epic. I'm not going to lie. I really love the design of this guy. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not expect you to do that many hits in a row. Like, no, 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 no. You ain't not doing that to me. Dude! Did you see that? This guy just comboed me. It wasn't nice either. That combo did not feel good, dude. Come on, dude. I gotta get more hits on you than what I did before. I should have been getting hits there, but I couldn't reach him for some reason. But yeah, he is a way more difficult boss than any other boss I've fought. Like, I'm speaking, like, honestly here. I've never struggled against a boss so hard, except for an ore spawn. But this guy is really difficult. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to defeat him in this video. I think he might just live throughout the end. 
because he's a really long boss. And I don't want this to take too long because look how much health he still has. And the amount of damage I do him is not much. So yeah, while fighting this guy and trying to kill him while he tries to murder me also. I'm going to wrap up this video for the day. If you guys have enjoyed this mod showcase and you want to request one so you can be on the wall of names in the front of the lab, be sure to hit... Be sure to leave a comment down below of what mod showcase you want. Also, if you've enjoyed the video and you are new too, to anyone who is watching this, be sure to hit the like button if you want to see more. Also, if you guys are new, be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you do enjoy my content. I bring out daily videos. I try at least my best to bring out daily videos. Sometimes things could happen. And I also do random live streams. This guy is just bullying me, I could say. Like, I'm being bullied by this boss. He's, like, mocking me. I know he is. So, yeah. If you guys enjoy my channel and you enjoy what you see on here, be sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Also, if you guys like interacting with streamers, I'm one of those type of streamers who really love to interact with my chat while I do a live stream of anything I feel like playing on those days. And I'll also let you guys join me on one of my things I like to do on live streams. I haven't played it in a while. I might have to do it again. Invite some more of you guys who are new and really like enjoying my streams. I might also have to play some more of the Hexit because I really did enjoy the Hexit stream. He actually pushed me into the lab. So yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video here. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to do that stuff. And I, that's it I got to say for the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. See you my fellow stars.